we at in terms of being able to recycle stuff? We are actually working on this. I think sustainability is probably the most important feature of this new mask culture. On one hand, you have cloth masks that just do not offer the same level of protection. So you literally, people are losing their lives because they'd rather use something that's reusable, right? And on the other end, we have plastic masks that are essentially hurting our future, right? For example, the melt blown, that middle part of your mask that actually protects you, and the better the melt blown, the higher uh, bacterial or particulate filtration, right? So ours is tested at the absolute highest, 99%. To get that, it has to be what's called virgin melt blown. That means it's never been used before. Not recycled, yeah. Right. So because of that, we don't know if there's a way to recycle melt blown into new melt blown, but we do know that we can recycle it into other things. So it sounds like we're at the beginning of a much bigger, much more important journey about what happens to all these masks after they, you know, save humanity. Yeah, that's, that's right. I mean, keep in mind, this was a problem for a very long time. People just didn't realize that it was such a problem. And we're talking billions of masks consumed every year by circuits. We don't need more plastic islands in the middle of the, of the ocean. And I really think there is, if you give people, especially in the United States, the, the option and the place to recycle, I think they'll do it.